Welcome to Jamstack Pirates, an unauthorized and rum fuel treasure hunt in the sharky waters around the Jamstack Islands with Queen Ray. I'm your host, Captain Lord of Air, and today's guest is the great and powerful Pirate Princess. And she has something to show us. I don't think she wanted to show us. Uh, okay. Get in the center. How it, is. how it is. Okay. We got a fun show for everyone today, or at least I think it's fun. So that's the most important part. Papa, no, no, now, she, now she's now oh, she's coming. Now she's she, oh, she's coming back. She's, she's coming back. She's coming back. Lemonada or cookie. So next Sunday, if you are in Oslo on Sunday, come by Lillian's Lemonade and Cookie Stand in our neighborhood. And that would be Rodelöcka. Rodelöcker. The whole neighborhood is going to have a uh, market. So come on and join that. She wants to say something. Okay, Lillian wants to say something. What do you want to say? What will you see? Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> she likes to like <laughs> kind of fall out of the, the screen. Okay. okay. So do you wanna give us our tanker tinker buller blah 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 but somebody has prepared look at that. Booyah! I like so, it. So the what because I, 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 I took the what and the why together. So we will be visualizing at Sarah's customer on an actual map to better understand where in the world we got traction. So I've been answering support tickets for Atsera for about or a little over a month now. And then next month, I'm also going to start doing some DevRel activities and type work. And it's been a blast. I really enjoy helping people get their businesses up and running and helping them set up Atsera in a way that um, suits them or fits them or like help them with their challenges. So that has got me thinking like, where, where are all these people? Like where in the world are our customers? And I kind of wanted to just visualize that for myself. Uh, and then, you know, for everyone can see that. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And then I've set up the how. So the kind of the, the thing we're focusing on in this, uh, in this, stream is getting uh, latitude and longitude that would be coordinates for a kind of like fuzzy address like a, uh, we have the city state and country for most of the the customers we don't want to look at their you know addresses or go into detail like that we just want to use the city and um, the, the the city state and country to kind of make sure we're not violating anybody's privacy and then uh, the second step will be to then show these coordinates on a React leaflet map. But before that, as always, with Gatsby, we need to <laughs> source the data. And what I always like to do is then make sure that they show up in, in our GraphQL Explorer, then just list them out plainly on the page so we kind of know that we have the data that we want. And then we want to add the lat long to the um, outsider account okay. nodes and yeah, then yeah, list yeah. that out. And then when we have, we know that we have coordinates uh, going, we will also um, use the React leaflet and then add the customers to the map. So I'm just going to remove our set, the screen a little bit just to make sure that we have no secrets up on the screen when we go I have no secrets okay so we're back so this is the page that we were looking at and I've prepped a little bit so I have created the sourcing of uh, a set of accounts 
So we have a get accounts helper function here that uses Axios to get accounts. Um, and the max limit for each page is 25 accounts. And we want the active account. So that would be account stage three. three. And then we want to know what page we want to get. So we get 25 and then we get the next 25 and the next 25 and all of that. And then the fields that I want to want from each account is the their ID. So we can use that to create... Um, to create unique Gatsby node IDs. Want the ma mailing address city, mailing address country, mailing address state, and then also the billing address city, billing address country, count, country, country, <laughs> country, and billing address um, state. So that uh, in case there is no mailing address, we'll use the billing address. But we want to use the mailing address because um, I would assume that is kind of where people are at. And then maybe they can have billing addresses uh, somewhere else and most of the accounts that I've peaked at this is the same data but just in case one they only have the one so we'll we use that get accounts in a loop down here in our source nodes and then I say okay if there is a mailing address um, I mean if there is a mailing address country we'll use the mailing address but if there isn't we'll use the billing address and then I create the node like we always do with Gatsby we do a create node. Um, we create a node ID based on our account um, user ID. And then from that, Gatsby will create a unique account to the um, whole kind of system if we were sourcing other data as well. While we only have to make sure that the string is unique within kind of our world, um, Gatsby makes sure that it's in unique within uh, our whole site. You mean and a unique ID because you said unique account. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, yes, um, that is true. Okay, so the first okay. step was to source, and then the second is to make sure that they show up in graphical. So I've already run that. So if we run, we can even, you know, we can do a refresh and then run, and we can see here that we have all the outside accounts and we have city, country, state, and we can just scroll through and it looks, you know, it looks fairly correct. Um, so that step is good. So let's head on back to our index page and check mark that. So the first thing we want to do then is we want to list the customers. Um, and we'll just do that below on this index page. So we're not going to be too concerned about styling in this uh, session. We might do some really cool maps, you know, in two weeks time. But now we're just getting it kind of up and running. So yes. we want to list the customers. So what I like to do then is to go to the, uh, and now they've changed this up on me, <laughs> this one. Yeah. The um, oh, code it's there now. Yeah. So we want to make it a page query. So we'll need to import the Gatsby, uh, the graphical, uh, graphical from Gatsby. And then we'll need this um, GraphQL query for this page. So it's asking for all that set accounts and no filter and then we'll get the grab the city county and uh, county country city country and state <laughs> um and then we can also copy paste this little bit here to kind of add a section underneath and just see that we get the data that we expect yeah so whatever data we query for with our page query is popped into in as a prop in our page. So if we head on back to our page, you can it's see popped. here we have it's popped, it's popped into our as page. A prop popped by Gatsby. As a propped it's just something page. Gatsby does. Mm -hmm. They have these little it's, pirates flying in the background. Yes. As long as you call this, it has to be expert const query. And then whatever this query is is popped into the page. So we can see that the data where the, the shape of this data object is uh, all at set accounts and then node. So let's just loop through them as our first kind of um, sanity check. So we'll loop through them. Um, oh, we'll create a uh, list element. Oh, look at that. I got GitHub Copilot now. Oh, So it's wow. doing it for me. So data all at set accounts, nodes, map, and then account. That would be correct. And then we want to do a um, list item with the key account ID. Yeah, that's true. 
Uh, and then we'll want to do account city, account state, account country. Correct. Correct. And then we wow. need the end ending brackets. Look at that. That was quick. Uh, that like was pretty it. quick. So I like it. I like it. Oh, I need to save though, at least. Oh, it, we need to remove our little pre tag here now. So look at that. These are all our customers oh, or I the like locations it. of all our customers. So cool. We did the list customers. So now to the fun part. Now we want to add um, address. We want to go from the address to a lat long or from like a, you know, a lot the location we have. We want to go from, I guess, city. Because we don't ha have the address. We want to go from the city, state, country to lat long. That's kind of so we're going we to do. you're going to change city, state, country to lat long. Yes. Are we going to use city, state, country to add lat long to our um to our a set of accounts? So Groovy. to do that, um I did some prep, but it's been a while. So we're gonna it's like it's it's like, I don't, I don't exactly remember what I did. So we're going to explore together. Uh, but uh, what I did do was create a, mm, an account with a Google cloud to use their ge geocoding um, service. All right. So Google geocoding API. And I've already popped in our API key into the secret environment variables file. So let's see, let's see how to use the Google API, Google Gear Coding API. So for this one, you're supposed to be able to do like Oslo, Norway, and then Geocode. We're supposed to get, Ooh, what happened? Hello, oh, good. I'm doing things. It's, let's refresh. Let's do this again. So we're supposed to be able to kind of just give in a string and then geocode, and then we'll get like a partial match. Okay, the address is Oslo, Norway, and then we get a lat long, which is like approximated to that, what they call address, even though it's not like a full address, but it's part of an address. And then the geocoding API does its best to make it into a lat long. So let's see how to use available client libraries node. That's what we want. So we want the geocoding API, but now we're not on the node anymore. Let's see. Attention. So I already installed it earlier in the week. Um, and then we are on the server using not using ESX modules. So we want to grab this one. So now it's like we could, while we are sourcing, we could call the Google map service, but the Google map service has some caps on it and it starts costing us money. So we could utilize a kind of a cool thing with Gatsby. It's like if the, if the node that we see here, if the node hasn't changed, we don't want to grab a lat long. Because if this data hasn't changed, you know, the look the, the coordinates shouldn't have changed. <laughs> Cause you know, cities don't suddenly move. So um we only have to do this when a node is created. So with Gatsby, we can then hook into the on create node um lifecycle method. So we can do exports and then on. Do you think it can help me with this? Is it no, on it create wants, node? He yeah. wanted you to do some webpack stuff. Yeah, I wanted me to do some webpack stuff. Don't do not do that. Yes. So we want to do it in on create node. And it's helpful there. It kind of gives yeah, us good. the utils. utils. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, good work, GitHub. Wow. That is where does it get it from? It's exactly what you wanted to do. I don't know if it's exactly, because here it's like creating a node and it's doing all kinds of stuff. But at least we want this top part. And then if it is an outside uh, client, we want to geocode the address. That's correct. And yeah. then if data state is OK, we get the lat long. But then we don't want to create a node. We just want to add a field. Ah, oh, yeah. Because we can just create, we can do an add field. So we don't need all of 
all of that. We can do create, create, is it node field? I think it's node field. Yeah, it looks. And then it looks right. Oh, Lillian is like she's she's fanning me with her thing. <laughs> she she's showing off her little uh, sign. Yeah. yeah. So we can do create node field. Let's see if it wants to help me now. Yeah, it's going to be on the node. What do we want to call it? No, I don't think I want to call it let. I want to call it location. Uh. And then I want the value to be the lat long. So instead of destructuring it, just let's call it location. And then we'll put the location as the value. Yes. And I need to close it. <clears throat> Boy, this is a different way of coding. Yeah. But I think this should be correct. It is weird. So we are on every time a node is created, we check to see if it is an outsider account. If it is an outsider account, we create a new uh, geo or map service, Google map service client. Um, and then we call the geocode method um, asking for the lat long for the address of city, state, country. And then we want the key to be the key that we put into our end develop uh, in our end variables over here. And then if it is a state is okay, then we add it as a node field. So let's try then. Yes. Maybe we want to do a little bit of a reporter here just to see what is happening. So we can do reporter info at, oh, look at that. Add location to nodes. Whoa. <laughs> GitHub. <laughs> GitHub is on the roll. But I want it to be a string literals, and then we'll add the location. Not the node ID, but we don't have the location there, so we're going to have the location underneath. <laughs> Did she say Baku? I don't know what she said. So location lat and then location long. So we can see uh, through Outsera account. Excellent. I feel like I'm doing more of a cleanup and not so much of the coding right now. So let's do a re-develop. Uh, All right. So did you go swimming in the sea today? Oh, look at that. It's adding locations. That is good. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Well, maybe we shouldn't have gone through like all of the accounts for. That was quick. OK, that was quick. This new computer is so quick. Yes, I went swimming this morning. It was awesome. I went to one of the saunas down by the ocean, and I sat in a sauna, and I swam in the ocean. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool water. Uh, yeah, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Okay, and look at that. We have lat long. Booyah. So now we have the lat longs. So let's pop those into our index as well. Add city, state, country to lat long. Or like, let's see, add lat long from city state country when sourcing so we've done that and then i guess our next step is to put that in add to the list so let's do an li and we haven't done this one yet so this one li add lat long to list to list. So let's do that now. I'm kind of writing a blog post here while we're streaming, which I think is uh, it's going to be my new I think, thing. Live so I, I writing. Huh? Live writing. That is. So first we need to <clears throat> query for it, though. So we need to update our query. So we'll update fields. 
And the reason this is on fields is that when we are inside of on create node, we are not allowed to change the node in any way except adding fields. Um, so that's why it's under fields. So fields, location, and let long. So we'll do, we'll get that and it's going to be on account. So then we can do account, loaf, yes. Oh, it already had it. Account, fields, location, let. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then we want to do accounts fields long. And we don't need this like or not flat line. That's we're going to trust the process here. Yes. Put a little bit of a. OK, so let's see if we get them. Ooh, yeah. So now we have all our lat longs. So we've added oh, yeah. them to the list. Let's I mean, this is going so fast. Yeah, I like it. Think about all I that like code it. I didn't really need to, to write. Yep. So now we need to do the React leaflet. So we ended up not really having to read this documentation because um, GitHub Copilot did it for us. Uh, but the documentation is here. And one of the things that I found confusing when I was looking at it earlier is that you had to put the key in here. And I don't think ASDF kind of this string didn't make it so clear that you know, this is your key. I guess this key here. But I was in my head. You usually do. You know, you usually initialize the key when you're initializing the client. So I was yeah. imagining that I needed to configure it up here, but they've yeah. moved it kind of into the the params. So, um, hmm. so that's it. And then I also think that we could move. We could move the initialization of the client out of the function, but let's leave it in the function and it's more together with the other code that uses it. So I kind of like that. Good suggestion, GitHub Copilot. Um, okay, yeah. where was I? Let's go back. Oh, install React leaflets. So yes. we're going to be using React, React uh, or React leaflet. Um, and you can use their getting started, but one of the things that they they don't tell you much here is that you also need to add the um, styling from the leaflet project. So if you don't oh. add the styling from the leaflet project, kind of you, you end up just seeing your map ends up being super weird. And I think it says it in the setup. So you follow all the steps on the installation page and then you, you're supposed to be able to add this code and then you should see this map. And then for a lot of people that it doesn't look like that. Um, and then it says down here, like make sure the leaflet CSS is loaded. So when I was running through, just like quickly testing this out, I was like, oh, okay. So how do I do that? And like, where is that? But then I found that the uh, there is a Gatsby plugin leaflet a Gatsby plugin React leaflet that then will do that for you, adding the correct CSS and all of that. So we should be able now to just copy paste uh, this example and see that work. Um, yeah, so we wanna install and then configure Gatsby plugin React leaflet, but I did that um, before the show because installing NPM packages is not great on stream. So let's just test that out and put that in there, map container. Uh, we need them to, um, I guess, see this, this annoys me with these like quick installation guides, it's like, but I need to import these from somewhere. Could I please yeah. get a import <laughs> help? But we need to import a map container marker yeah. pop-up to make this work. So let's just do that. Import. Up, up. Oh, look at that. Get the co-pilot again. We'll be out of a job soon. Okay, so let's head back to... Um, I don't project. agree, but I know it's a popular thing to say these days. Oh I'm my so God, we're getting out. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to comment out the list so that we can see if we get the map better. Um, I have learned that you can't be ironic on the internet, and we are actually on the internet now. Yes. So stop that. Stop this irony. Irony. Don't be ironic. But shouldn't you make the install React leaflet green now? 
Uh, yes, but we got to make sure that it's working. So one of the things we'll need to make it work as well. So now we have the styling and everything, but we need to add like a style and we need to give it some kind of height because otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't know how high it's going to be. So let's just do 300 pixels for now. Hmm. And then later on, I just wanted to take up the whole page, but let's oh. see if we can get it now. Oh, there we have. Oh. So our example is working. Look so at that. yes. Add anybody, ba, 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 ba. boom. Okay, so now yeah. we need to add the customers to the map. This was great. So, oh, and this also has like a little bit of a pop up. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Easily customizable. So we'll do the same kind of, uh, we'll do these. Um, whew. We'll run, th we'll do the same logic as when we were making the list, but we'll be making markers instead. So I'll copy paste our little snippet from before. So instead of making this list, we'll make a marker. All right. So for every account, we want to make a marker. Um, and then we Oh, you're not position. going to make a bunch of little maps. You're going to make one big map. I'm going to make one big map and then we can oh. do the, and I think it's lat long. We'll see pretty fast if that is correct. Cause some, in some worlds it's lat long. And in, in other words, are, there's lat, long lats. Remember we talked to Matthias Hansen about yeah. that from Geocodia when yeah. on the, the data in the wild podcast. Yeah. So, but we'll fairly quickly understand if it's correct or not. So, and yeah. then in our little pop-up, we could put the actual city, state, and country so we can make just a little bit of like manual sanity checks to see if this looks correct or not. Okay. And then let's zoom out a little bit because, you know, we're going to need the whole world. Ooh. Look Ooh. at that. Let's make it. Why are they blue though? Aren't they supposed to be red? Um, I think the the um, the default from the uh, leaflet project is blue, and then okay, we can then. style them, you know, in another show and make them because we don't need them to be like this big. They can just be little dots, you know, or like little yeah. Alcera logos or something like that. Yeah. So let's let's see if this makes sense. So this looks like India, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Haryana, India. I think I've been up there actually. Yeah, I went on a camel safari uh, into the the um, desert that's close yeah. by the 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 border up here. So we got our lats long correctly. Let's just swap them so you can see like how how it where it is. We're gonna end you... up in the ocean then. Yes. Yeah. You, ocean. You see that? They're all and in then, the like, ocean. Oh no! Everything is kind of instead of it's you know it's instead of it being. <laughs> <laughs> distributed like this it's distributed kind of in the wrong way so yeah, yeah. uh let's stop that <laughs> wow yeah i think it's kind of cool to see so like obviously there's a lot in europe but who's yeah. over here it's american samoa is american yeah. samoa over there yeah yeah that is actually kind of in the middle of the ocean there. Brilliant. So that is pretty cool. Maybe I should start, like, I want to travel and visit customers now. Yes, I've never been to American should. Samaya. Um, the map we can became weird. Yeah, that's better, yeah. We can move in. Like, there's a Gothenburg. There's a, ooh, Norwegians. Stavanger. Ned there's Strand. There's Stockholm. There's one there in Gotland. Oh, yeah, Gotland is pretty big. We got Latvia. Yeah, Latvia. Latvia. Oh. I like it. Mali. Ah, and then I've been helping. Go to quite Greece. Go to Greece. Aren't oh, you? But just two seconds. Like, I've been helping a lot of people in Australia, actually. So it looks yeah. like there's here on the east coast of Australia, somebody yeah. has been, been, you know, marketing out Sera. Yeah. And even here. New Zealand. In New Zealand. All right, Perth. But it seems like it's over on this side. Like yeah. it would there be interesting to see. There are more people. Sorry. Yeah, um... I think so. I think so. Oh, okay. I think most okay. of the cities are over there, but I, 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 I'm just guessing. Where did you want me to go? Greece. 
weren't you dreaming about going to Greece for this meetup? Yes. Let's see if it's Athens. It looks like Athens, don't it? Is this Greece? I'm so bad. With it. Yes. Chalandri. Chalandri. Hmm. I mean, we did so much. No, so this is our quick... Let's look at Greece. Let's look at Greece. I think it's close to Athens. Go closer. Isn't that Athens like the, the, the name there? Athens. Have... Go even closer. Athens. 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 You're thinking this is Athens? The Don't city? You? Don't you? It's like the biggest thing. Yeah. Like, it this is, is far showing away. off my jog. This is showing off my geography yeah. skills. It's not close not, to Athens. It. It's not my best. It's not my best, the uh, geography skills. Let's see where Athens is. But if you if you go to the Greece thing, you can say, hey, dude, you guys should come. Yeah, it is Athnoff. Athnoff is Athens. Yeah. yeah, that was Athens. Yeah. So you should yeah. go to Athens and then you should tell the guy to come to Athens. I should. And he could uh, come to the... Meet you. Come and meet me. That would be cool. Yeah. That would anyway, be cool. these are all the customers with active accounts. And then I'm going to make one for trialing accounts, I think. But that's going to be more for internal use. Okay. And then if, obviously, like, there's a lot of people here in the States. And then we got a Puerto Rico. Yeah. Omaha. That's crazy. Millet. Calgary. Oh, look at this Gutenberg. one. That is wrong. <laughs> so instead of leaving state blank, they've written outside the US or Canada. And then it says Sweden. And then it says Sweden. So, but Google's API is then say, trying to put this in Canada since it's got Canada in there. <laughs> yeah. That is super fun. Okay, yep. so we'll need to make some adjustments then. So for for this one, no, um, do So that was cool. What? So, so so that's what we talked to Matthias about. That you you get stuff and then the address is there's something wrong and then he has to go in with scripts and fix it. Mm hmm. So that's what I'm going to do now. Invalid states, <laughs> and then we'll make a yeah a um or not applicable yes so invalid, and then if invalid if invalid includes the address state, um, then. If it includes it, then we shouldn't be show it, showing it. So then we'll do null. And then if not, we'll do address state. So now you're just not showing that one. Yes. So then we All can right. create an invalid cities and then invalid countries. If we, if I keep seeing, you know, things that are, are obviously mistakes. Weird. Yeah. Or weird. But since this is like, this is not a production, this is, you know, to have fun, we don't, we're not going to be like super, we're not going to make super scripts to, to make it work, but it will be fun to have that over in Sweden now, hopefully. No. Do you think it's going to end up in Sweden now? Yeah. Cause then wow. now it's going to be Gothenburg null. But it Sweden. didn't say Gothenburg. It said Gutenberg, which is the Swedish. Well, we'll uh, see. We'll the see. Typing. Is it called yeah. typing? No, it's not called typing. What do you call it? Spelling, spelling. So at least is it gone from is it gone Canada? from Canada? Yeah, it looks it looks gone. Because it was yeah, it way was... up there. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. It was up there that... in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Okay, Gutenberg, that's yeah, yeah, look at it. It made it. There it is. It's that is it. No, Gothenburg is actually in English, so oh. I don't know if we got oh, two. No. Like there might be two, two, yeah, two ones yep. on, on top of each other. That that, that but anyway, it's we got now. it away from we got it away from Canada at least. I think that's good enough for yeah. today. So yeah. we'll do a check mark on add customers to the map. Oh yeah, and that's but maybe. It. 
since we have so good time, maybe we no. should look at how we can make it a little dot. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You we owe me the... hours and hours for the other shows when we went over. So now we're going to take back some lost time. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. You're right. I am. But I'll be playing with markers with custom icons. Yes. And then you can. also, um, we did I bookmark that because Paul Scallion that used to be on the show, he has been having a lot of fun with maps. So yes. I'm thinking, and he shared this project. So I was thinking it could be cool in two weeks to make it into this um yep. use this project as well, yep. which I is like a it. which is an SVG. So these mm. are then SVGs that you can make into just images. Oh yeah, uh, which is kind of cool. Because we, yes. you know, it's not, we don't need like a very detailed map. We just, you know, we just want something to visualize it. And this could be pretty cool. And if we then can make it, we could just have a little job running that would make this map maybe once a week or something for us. And we could put it, you know, on the site to showcase like where all our, our customers are. It's pretty, I think that could be pretty cool. I'll that talk to you guys about that. That could be pretty cool. So, okay, do we want to do a summary? Hello? I say yes. Are you... I'm putting up the note, the taskable task. Oh, I didn't see that because, I, you know, you were covered by other information. So, so if you need to choose one of those bullet points that you would say was your favorite, which one would that be? So my favorite, like this sourcing nodes into Gatsby. We've done that a million times on stream. So this is kind of boilerplate. We do it all the time. We take, we call an API and then we create a node for everything returned from the API. What was new today and which was kind of cool is that um, we then took the city, state and country and ask the Google Geocode API to turn it into a lat long location for us. And we do that on on create node because that means if we keep building this project on the server uh, or whenever anything changes or we ask it to build, if a node has not changed its city, state and country, we will not be calling the Google API. So we'll only be calling the Google API for uh, new or changed nodes, which in this case would be et cetera accounts. And that's a that's a cool thing to know uh, when we're working with potentially paid um, or when you're working with, with paid APIs. So yes. Google has a generous free tier here, but um, if you end up deploying a lot, then you could run into that. Um, so and also we have seen with Twitter that suddenly it's not free anymore. Suddenly it's not free anymore and you want to yeah. make sure. So here, but while in development mode, anytime you change any code in Gatsby node, it will kind of clear the cache and start over. So we didn't get that benefit here, but we will get it once it's deployed on the server. So another tip then is for your development work, just ask for fewer nodes. So we could have done this um, we could have done kind of this stream on just 10 of the accounts so that we wouldn't kind of rake up all of, you know, rake up so many queries to the Google API. So yes. I think that's, and this is, a, this is really one of the things I really, really like about Gatsby. It feels a little annoying in the beginning, but it does help you. Um, and especially for projects like these that are not, you know, they're not like, they don't need to be updated like every minute either. They just need to be run every now and then. And then just keeping your requests down so that you don't end up being billed, billed by these services. Yeah, it's, it's great. You can choose if you want to be billed or not. Yeah. So Which we could choose good. to build this like once a week, right? Because like it's, we don't need it to be on the minute how many you know correct accounts yeah yeah was that was not the how though that was a favorite 
That was my favorite. But it's also the house. So first we sourced all of the ac accounts from Aceta and the cr created Gatsby nodes for each account. And then if that account is new or changed, we then head into this code in on create node. And then we ask Google to translate from a kind of like a typical address string to a, a lat long coordinate. And then in our front end, we query for all of this information for all the accounts and we query for all the fields that we need. And then we use React, uh, React leaflet uh, and we create a map. And then inside the map, we loop over, loop was the word I tried to find earlier. Then we loop all of, we loop over all the uh, at set accounts and then we create a marker for each account. Oh yeah. Yes. And then the little tricky trick here is to use the uh, Gatsby plugin React leaflet project because uh -huh. that makes your life a lot easier because it will include all of the styling you need and all of that. Okay, Lilian, are you ready? Rada. Till or sing it. I'm gonna sing my song. It won't take long. There's a twist and it goes like this. Ah, come on, let's twist again. Like you did last summer. Mm -hmm. Let's twist again. Like you did last year. <laughs> Do you remember when? Na -na -na. Ba, 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 ba. But I feel like GitHub Copilot kind of st stole the show. I like it. I think she's hiding. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of ruining her hiding. <laughs> Dile a Liam, right? Yeah. No, she's not hiding. Okay. Lila, I can't hear me. I'm like, don't pick your nose on. She can't hear you, so I don't know why you say it. I don't know what I said. It It was just a, it was a little motherly. You know, pirates. That is true. We are pirates. If you want to fart or burp or pick your nose, you can do it. Okay. Yeah. Two. But that was oh. see at the this is an outset of treasure rent. One, one, two, two, three. Three. We did an outset of treasure <laughs> hunt with gems that queen ring. <laughs> and her guest was the pirate princess. In the devs, ooh, ah. Daddy, there goes some ooh, ah. 